Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. We'll just do a little quick intro, but basically this is a bit of a different one for us. Well, not that much of a different one because we do love camping, but... Literally, we just got back from California Sunday yeah. and now it's Thursday and we've just driven to the Peak District in England. Yeah. And we're... It's, it's, Jubilee, but it's Jubilee weekend, so we've got Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday off. And for, you, for you, those of you who don't know, the Jubilee weekend is the 70 years that the Queen has been on the throne in England. And like there's bunting everywhere, there's parties, so nice. beer festivals. So before we go camping, I'm just having a quick pre-camp pint. We're having a quick beer, well Dan's having a beer, I'm having a water, we've had a wee, we've, we've ordered a pizza. It's about just gone six o'clock now and then we are heading um, into the countryside. We're in the Peak District now. We're but we'll, in a minute, we're on the way because we don't want to speak it here, but we'll, be, we'll tell you exactly how we're camping so it's not quite as the usual camping. Yeah, stay tuned. Pizza! Gorgeous, oh, the wind, your window screen is really dirty now. It's absolutely Sorry. beautiful. Hey guys, so <laughs> as promised, this is what we're doing. So, see Alice, she's got her rookie sack on, I've got mine, and what wild we're doing is camping. wild camping. And in England and Wales, technically, you're not allowed to do this, yeah. um, but apparently, we've like researched it. And it's just, no you've got to leave no trace and it's like it's tolerated but frowned upon. Um, but we just wanted to give it a go. But at the minute, I'm not so sure about Alice's uh, idea of a walk because everywhere we look is pretty damn busy. But <laughs> let's see. Let's hope we can find some uh, so remoteness. Yeah, I'm sure we will. That's the campsite down there, worst case scenario. We just gate crash. Yeah, true. Just like sliding. That's so true, yeah. Didn't <laughs> we? Yeah. Right, I'll put this down so I can concentrate. I hope, I hope. It's, it's off the work we go. We're next to water, running water. We're late for drinking later when we're dying of thirst. <laughs> okay, now I feel like we're back in Vegas in Death Valley. There's literally bones all over the floor. We're just kind of walking off the beaten track because the thing is with wild camping you can't be on the track so we're just kind of walking in the direction that we think is a good way a good way mm -hmm. once we've like had the camping stuff we'll tell you like exactly where we are like if it's a good route or not what to do because when we were looking to find it really hard to know where to go but it's still always like secret secret yeah we've done the car about how long you Sorry, I'm here. Now we're just wondering. We're trying to find somewhere to sleep. Oh, yeah, baby. There she goes, smashing it like a Trojan warrior. Found the perfect spot. There it goes. In the middle of the Yorkshire Valley. It is. It's quarter past nine. And we'll just put the tent up. So we're going to quickly put the um, tent up and then. The tent is up. There's up. I think we found a pretty good spot. It was off the beaten track. And yeah, the tent had a hole in it, so we put this blister plaster over it. Just improvising, doing our bag reels, aren't we, Dan? Look, this is our home for the night. All of our stuff. Now, probably put some more layers on, make sure we're super warm. Yeah. Should we just sit that on the room and put that and put our bags in? Yeah, or put our bags in there now. Oh, Where are they going to stay then? No, our bags have got to come in the room with us. Let's go and let's have a look in the tent and see what it's like. Also, we got these ages ago when we went to the Lake District, and they're actually super good. dark and um and we're just going to put cook some pot noodles this one and then this one as you saw we um stopped and had a pizza Eek, it's so dark this isn't very good lighting yeah we stopped and had a pizza this isn't good lighting at all actually oh it does just shine a light on me 
Yeah, we stopped and had a pizza, didn't we? Yeah, so basically, as you saw us, we were having a pizza and a beer. Mm. And then, to be honest with you, we started to not panic, but we were a bit like, because this is our first time, and yeah. genuinely, we're not giving you a guide here, because... This is our first time. Actually, we can give you tips on how we've done it, but yeah, we'll be able to tips, just, this tips is at our, the end of it. This is our first time, and we literally were just like, the problem is with the peat this trip, there's this like public footpaths everywhere. Mm. So we were trying out absolutely there better. Is. Every time we thought we were getting away from one, there's mm. another. But I think we found a nice little grassy spot here where we um, we've set up. And the trick is, we're going to leave super early in the morning before anyone can see us. So yeah. It's dark now, no one's going to see us now, and then we just, um, yeah, we're just going to have this pot noodle and then just it, chill yes. till under the stars. Oh, perfect. A noodle time, guys. Doritos. And. Will you put it right on it? So and... Have you got grass in there? Look right on the water. Hello? Oh, Let's go, baby. We're in the countryside, guys. We're in the countryside. It's very dark. We have only seen like two people probably since we've been here. Yeah. And they, no, like three people all together. And they were also going wild camping, so. Look for them, we had literally a little pop up tent that so made us feel like prepared. Yeah, they literally looked like they were just carrying all their stuff, whereas we had two massive DOV rucksacks and just getting in our tent. Oh, cool. We're just getting in the our pot noodles. It was delicious. And the time is probably about 11 o'clock. So we're just going to get into our cozy little... Let me have a look in here. Then, hey, our cozy little tent. Deck are down for the night, aren't we, Dan? Sure are, eh? Sure This is 4.30am. <laughs> we made it. There's our tent. There's the sunrise, like Alice's dream and mine. Lovely picture of the valley, but yeah, just beautiful all around, really. And it was raining all night, so everything was soaked, but it's not actually that rainy now, so we're all right. But yeah, it's been a pretty cool night. Pretty cool night. Yeah, it's been fun. I didn't mean cool as in cold, I mean cool as in fun. But yeah, catch you. Actually, to be honest, the hardest bit was we, because we uh, had to carry all our stuff, we only had to. Uh, I'm used to having an air bed. Yeah. And this time we had like these small little mats and it was quite uncomfortable. That was the only hard bit, but to be honest, it wasn't too bad. Beautiful. But yeah. Wake up to this. What? Beautiful wake up to this, though. It is. I'm so happy. Love you. <laughs> Quick update as well on the best lift. It was very, very, very good, wasn't it, Dan? Yeah, you lift that very, very good. Up. Just packing up the tent. So we're leaving. We're leaving Packed camp. Up. I and think this is one of the hardest things about yeah. is um, uh, rainy leaving. Rainy. And I think we've done it's it. It's actually so. not raining now. No, but like wet leaving. Yeah. It's one of the most unpleasant things about camping. But it's, I'm proud that we've done it. Yeah, so it's been an amazing first. It's been an experience. It's been guys. a cool been a experience. Like, obviously, going, um, we were in LA, uh, in a USA, and then we came back, and then we've had this four day weekend, and we're just Thank like, you, we've had a chill, and this has just been a nice, fun thing to do because in life, sort of yeah, like adventures. Yeah, four day weekends are great for them. So we're going to just film where we've camped and we have left no trace because that's the very big um, wild camping rule. If you guys are wild camping, um, then yeah, you can't leave any trace. So here we go. No trace. No trace. What is that noise? It's been the grass, but... No trace at all. And now we are on our way. Yeah. You're going to have a drink, aren't you? Oh, I'll just tie this up a bit, isn't it? And you're just going to have some food. And then we're just going to head back to the car, walk slowly down to the car. Um, yeah, if this um, vlog, vlog's been a bit up and down, it's literally because it was our first experience and we were a bit scared last night i'm not scared but we were, we were scared before doing it but actually last night i wasn't scared at all we were just a bit apprehensive but now we've done it it feels amazing it feels amazing bye camp bye camp 
Yeah, right, I'll put the phone down so I can watch where I'm walking and we'll film some on the way down. We're on the decline down. Oh, that's looking cute. Did, Hera, have you shown them on the vlog this? Uh, yeah, we see, that's two other tents. So someone wild camped in that valley last night. And we find that good to know because probably if we wild camp again, we don't necessarily go to the same spot, but it's nice to know that we've got to go to in the peaks. But then we're like, shit, we can't find somewhere. We can just go here. Yeah. This is a nice one because it's quite a long road up to it. I know what you said, Yeah. You're right, and the thing is with this whole like wild camping experience, we didn't obviously we didn't want to go too far away from the car. We didn't want to go too far away from our car, and to be honest, we ticked all of those boxes. Yeah. And had a wild camping experience. Because it was trying to it's been discreet. Discreet. We're trying to get our confidence. Yeah. So that we can go further. Um, but but one day we'll be doing it in Scotland yeah. and it's legal there. So. Yeah. I don't know what you say you feel like. I just feel like it's been a really, really good experience because you have to be, well, for us, we had to be kind of sensible. We didn't want to just like stray off into the unknown, yeah. not going where we were going because now we knew exactly. And I think last night when I was set, like when we set up camp, like, I just didn't feel worried because I was like, no, I, I know where, I know how to get home. Yeah. So we were, we had phone signal. Yeah. But, but like, yeah. I didn't, for some reason, I didn't worry about like people stopping us. I just felt like that, and that wasn't going to come. Especially yeah. as it rained all night. It felt very peaceful. Yeah. No one like will walk around. I think you just need to be like super careful. Don't have fires and just do not leave any rubbish. Because it's not fair like it's so busy and yeah. people just don't leave anything. And we just want to keep it natural. Um, but I feel like no campsite now is going to seem like the same. The same, just wake up to that view. That was beautiful. To be honest, I wake up to this view every day. <laughs> Other tent, guys. Other tent. How did we not see that? Hello, we are. And we're we not, survived. We Let's just say that. Yeah, we survived the wild camping. Day. It wasn't as. Scary as you might think, because mm -hmm. when you go for the first time, you think, what happens if someone captures me in the night? What happens if we can't find a good space? But then when you go, first off, we went, and obviously it was hard to get there, mm. found a wonderful spot and did it once and slept quite well. So mm. actually, that wasn't scary. And then when we left, as you may have seen, we also saw other people camping, and then that kind of gives you the confidence that it is something people do. So yeah, it's pretty cool that, um, yeah. We, we might do it again. It was pretty fun. It was very. I enjoyed it. It was very fun. As Dan said, we obviously had no experience in wild camping before, and no wild camping, no wild camping experience. And if you are thinking mm, that looks quite fun, shall I go wild camping? Hundred percent would recommend doing it. But obviously, the wild camping rules just. Google them before you go. Just make sure you know everything. Like the don't. Main... Can I just say, don't um, leave a trace. That no is trace. that is the main thing. No fires. No, no fires. Rubbish. No. no rubbish. And also be tell, respectful. yeah, be very respectful, guys. Um, and also tell people where you go. So if you you're going, just send your family member or just a little GPS. Is yeah, it? we did like where where our going. location was in case anything happened to us. Mm. But then there's also an app, not sponsored, called What Three Words. Uh, which is and good. that's the place you can do your exact location as well. Mm. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Sub, comment, feedback. Yeah, make sure you subscribe and make sure you give us any feedback on this video. We were very, I was quite nervous actually when we were, not nervous while we were out camping, but I was a little bit apprehensive. But now we've done it, I'd 100% have but the confidence to do it again because when we were traveling hot, traveling back, like Dan said, we saw five maybe four or five other camps so people do wild camp yeah. it's not something that you can't do but yeah stay tuned maybe we'll do another wild camp this summer who knows but the next vlogs are coming very soon we will be in italy so they're pretty good see you guys later have a bye. great week bye